Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in Legendary Iron Man with uh, literally all difficult mods enabled at the same time including of course double enemy squad size and a few other gimmicks. We are in and around month number 7-8 now. It is time for Operation Steely Giant. The retaliation mission where potentially the warlock will make his last appearance before we then visit him at home and uh, we'll hopefully curb stomp him just as much as we did with uh, his siblings that would give us the option to finally have rumbled out all three of the chosen and then we can take a step back and maybe get a facility or two down uh, and engage with some alien rulers next plus of course uh, the other factions so that's the medium game term plan good news we got uh, live fire support which means new rookies that are coming in can be trained into uh, sergeants so the meat grinder can continue bad news we've lost quite a few soldiers on the way already and today is not going to be a different one. 25 enemies with a few mechanical enemies spliced in. We're taking the B team here and you can see that I'm taking it really somewhat serious. We got uh, the firing turret here on Endors to highlight. Uh, we got uh, the bio vest for extra armor on Zirkim. Both Roby and Implacable will be running mine shields to prevent eventual uh, mind controls from the warlock if that is the case and we've got a plethora of at least three blue screen rounds i want to make sure that when we're dealing you can see here uh, with codex primes as an example elite uh, specters as another example and a couple of other just mechanical units it very much feels to me that uh, the uh, that the blue screen rounds are the right way to go cyborgs as well the purge cyborgs are uh, highly uh, susceptible to them. We got two times armor penetrating rounds, Roby and Implacable are running that, and uh, a fiery round or dragonfire rounds to counteract the Berserker, hopefully. So join me in uh, the next loss because the, those missions here, I'm not that worried about surviving with our, um, with our operators. My main concern is that we're very likely not going to save enough uh, civilians. But let's give it a try. Good, look at that. We landed and it seems that we have gotten an elite wrecker on top of it, uh, meaning one of the enemies has already joined us. Clever and smart choice, my dude. He has a heavy gun or... 5 to 8 points of damage. Doesn't hit very well, but definitely has a lot going for him in terms of firepower. Cool, so we gotta be careful here. Obi moves up. I already mentioned we're going to be a bit exposed, really. And Ors moves up as well. And apparently that was finally enough to trigger the enemy. Codex Prime has teleported all the way back there. Going to set these guys up, but what I also want to do is set up a turret and we are going to put it behind enemy lines. Let's see how good that turret really is. So for starters, it looks awesome. Wait, what? It can move? No way. No way. Seven to nine points of damage. Okay. Well, 
to tell me that that thing shreds on top of what it does, then I don't know what to say, but that uh, would be the best invention ever. Gets a height bonus. And it seems as if it would be not shredding. Okay, cool. Let's get that fanatic here. Nice hit. Okay, I'm already incredibly positively surprised. Zirki moves up. And him and Anders can focus together on that Fnatic Crusader. Nice shot. Anders takes his sniper. And almost gets him down. Cool. Good, time for run and gun for Implacable. There. Moving up. And knock him down. There you go. Should trigger Implacable, right? Right? Right. Good, moving up even further. Okay, the wrecker has tried. Valiant job, dude. Valiant effort. Good, running and gunning also with Roby. If, if you say so. Moving up. Let's kill that collector. Enemy is still up. That's a miss. I think we're going to try that again. Good. Implacable, untouchable. Could stand in the open, but I think we're not going to do that. Instead, what I really would want to do is get a bit closer. What's over there? In reasonable terms, of course. Okay, this could be a crit. It unfortunately is not. And I think giving a protocol forward is helpful and Zirgim could get another eight protocols. So two threat assessments. Look, overall, an okay first turn. Those guys have technical analysis running. And the Codex Prime with its stupid personal shield will get a couple of extra actions. Unfortunately, we are going to lose civilians. Lightning reflexes ate that one.
Cool. That was not a kill. That was not a kill. So far, so good. Please, don't shoot the Codex. Really. Out of all of the things that you can do, shooting the Codex is and should be your lowest priority. Same, by the way, goes for aggroing entire packs on the other side of the map, which I cannot get, get to immediately. Okay, so we got our tower up here. And that tower uh, continues to miss, unfortunately. Moving up with Zirkim. Let's make sure that that Elite Spectre is done. Good, we got a Codex Prime and we got one more Codex back there. Not the best chance, but I still would like to try it because it can teleport in. And that's helpful. That was very helpful. Good. Wrecker really just double moves. Roby begins to move forward. Let's kill that Prime. And let's grab the loot. Superior Head Trigger, great. We can definitely use that. We can definitely use that. Placable, moves up. Good. Promotion earned and triggered implacable. Yeah, we're not going to heal random resistance fighters. Instead, let's move in because we have lost a lot of momentum with our specialists and both of the rangers are just plowing forward. These attacks are pointless. I get them next time. Good, so the guy double moved, which means another, another set of enemies might be back there. But we've also found a Berserker. Well, great. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Okay, so we got to engage with the guys right to the north. Unfortunately, enemies are now coming in left and right.
and we find ourselves in a position where it again seems like we're not dealing enough damage. Please don't pull that extra one. Why? Why would you pull them? Everything was going okay. Specifically, the Mamba is a problem. It can pull. Uh, it can pull us over the entire battlefield, isolating an individual and eventually killing them. All right, cool. Yeah, pull pull the entire uh, map. This is not a problem of of yellow alert, by the way. This is a problem of our great resistance fighters that are air quote helping. And I'm using those terms very lightly because yes, they are dealing damage, but they would have been better off with not doing anything. Okay, cool, good. Well, it is what it is. Let's move forward. The Wrecker will do what a Wrecker has to do. This might not even remove cover, but it will shred both of them. To here. And let's try to hit that collector there. Okay, cool. Turret is now unfortunately quite far behind. Sirke moves up. Let's try to get that mech down. Nice damage. Fantastic damage. Handing over actions to Zirkim. Many hit points, six. Okay, so are we dealing six damage? No, four to five. That's not enough. Looks good on paper. However, it does not really work out. We could, however, shred uh, this. Um, can't kill that one. Could maybe kill the, uh, the mech. Wow, we even got a demol demolisher back there. Moving up to half cover, but it is flanking half cover. And could help us with that cyborg. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Kills the mech. Thirteen to fifteen. How many more hit points does he have? Thirteen. We could kill the we could kill the cyborg, which is by far more dangerous.
Good, that's a very nice hit. Bobby moves up, gets a bit closer. Wow, such a low damage, uh, such a low percent to hit. I wonder if I should just reload instead. Fifty-fifty. Let's get this guy down. Nope, didn't work. I think Roby really just reloads. And he uses another teamwork and it's Irkim's last action. Getting the amount of enemies down. So we're currently engaged with three. Those two plus uh, the collector on the right hand side who is now coming back in and starting to tangle with our tower. Interesting. All right, we're being shredded. Covering fire is a nasty ability. losing a lot of civilians but i think we're still somewhat in that game we just need to continue to push forward and engage the enemies all right the berserker definitely has a good argument there Boy, I think we had 16 before that turn, and now we're down to 12, maybe 11, 12, 12. Yeah, maybe 11. Just too many enemies uh, that are shooting down on the on the resistance forces, and I really quickly engaged this time. Good. See, this time you're doing something remotely sensible. Down to 10 even. Oh, wow. That's not good. But I tell you what. Um, attacks here. Needs to get into a better cover spot. Triggering the Overwatch with our Wrecker. Oh nice, he shreds, that's fantastic. That makes him even more valuable. Good, our tower begins to move. Moving up with Roby. Good choice to reload last turn. Gives us the ability to kill and move on closer to the enemy. We do not yet have run and gun. Is it clear? 
Moving up. Good, so that should be a kill and then a, a triggering implacable. That's the hit. There's the dual strike. Nice little kill. One down, thousands to go. That trigger is implacable. Move to here and then try to finish him. Need to get closer to both of them. This here is cover against one, but not against the other. The reason why I'm still taking it is because I want to get rid of both of their cover spots and shred them. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. That could be a nice shred. Fantastic. Good hit. Crit. Deals damage. And we are dishing out even more damage. Good, well done. That demolition tries to hit us back. All right, good, yeah. We des uh, deserved it. Untouchable, baby. Untouchable. And those are the perfect enemies for Roby. Yes, they have squad side. That's not good. Those are the perfect enemies here for Roby because we are immune to Overwatch and killing them also means we get untouchable. Yep, the enemy starts to engage with us. Great. Uh, the burning part is, of course, not so great, but the rest is good. Still so many enemies here. Massive brute, but they seem to be moving in. Okay, the one lonely resistance fighter. As long as you're staying alive, dude, everything's fine. We're down to eight. We're still in it, but I would say barely. Healing up and removing that nasty burn. Shredding the demolisher. Closer. 
fully shredding him. He's now down to like what? Two hit points. Moving away from the car. Because that is going to explode very soon. I think we're rather shredding the brute. That was very unfortunate. Come on. There you go. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Dude, you're why am I why am I even surprised? Shredding the brute. Good hit. I'm super happy uh, with the with the wrecker so far. Two full cover. And that looks like a kill. Implacable, untouchable. Um, I mean, we could go behind the tree. We're looking at three, four enemies. Could also go here. Bird is supporting. On this side. Unfortunately unsuccessful. What's our chance of hitting him? 100%. Very good. Nearly 100%. 99. I shouldn't say 100. This is XCOM. Continuing to move in further. Come on. Oh, okay, so... We got just a few more left. The turret has 20 defense, which is good. They seem to struggle to kill it. And it acts like a little mimic beacon. Still five extra left over. We need only four. So far, we are still good. Don't kill. All right. We can't, can't afford to lose any more. Wow. Good. We have officially just lost the mission. Civilian casualties are too high, Commander. This resistance cell isn't going to make it. We should still try and save whoever we can and clear the area. Which means we're going to play a tight, no more advancing recklessly. We are going to play it tight. Okay, I'll go. Well, I got that one. is berserking through that flank here. Takes the next position. Always a little bit closer every single turn. The 
That guy here has 14 hit points. I think we can kill him. Very good. There is an advantage in just ignoring armor. Good. Double move from Endors. Gets us nicely into cover. The Wrecker is doing a great job. I need to come up with a name for him. So we had Hermes, Sanchez and Carlos, which means he could be Poncho. Yep, Poncho sounds like a good plan. Turret moves and supports on this side here. By the way, I was wrong. The Mamba is not the one that pulls in. It is indeed kind of the sniper one. The other one, he's uh, uh, the other one was called Constrictor. Moving again into full cover here. Zero Kim Overwatches. Extra move available into full cover for Implacable. Gains that a protocol for an extra overwatch shot as well. And a reload for inappropriate Murphy. My problem with the situation is this is potentially as good of a combat as it could have been. I'm not really seeing how we could have played it much, much better. And yet we lost it. That's a fantastic hit. Good job, Zirkum. Sancho is burning. I don't like it. They're definitely trying to go for our tower, our turret. Good. Sancho, come on. You can do that. Gets a few extra hit points. Great. Reloads. 50-50 on that trooper. And he pays him back. In even currency. A life for a life. Running and gunning. Getting all the way up to the member. Surprise, motherfucker. Damn right. And we're implacable. Ling down here.
Roby has single-handedly cleared that one side. Good. We're moving behind the tree. That means only one of them can hit us. Oh, nice. We could uh, get a, uh, get rid of the cover. I haven't seen that before. Should have seen it, but haven't. But in that case, we would have stolen Roby's cover, so... I'm, of course, not going to do that. Moving on target location. Let's get that assassin. Aid protocol onto Zirkim just in case. And that's 13 hit points, which we can kill if we're playing it right. We can actually kill both of them. Plakable moves in. Shotgun to the face. And we're out of ammunition. Oh, that's that is uh, that's indeed unfortunate. I'm going. Good. Still an attempt for the honor guard. Nope. He has a lot of defense. What? We can heal the turret? You must be kidding me, right? Those turrets are strictly better than the other ones that we have. Unless they are one-time usable. Close, almost got him. Sanchez so down to one. No, it's not. It's Poncho, sorry. Poncho is down to one. We'll get to you in a second, my friend. There is the disorientation. Good shit. And untouchable. I can't believe that that Roby and the turret literally took an entire f uh, flank by themselves. And they were like, yeah. We're going to just man mode this. <laughs> and again, implacable. Unbelievable. Moving there. Starting to hit him. We're not done yet. There you go. Okay, so I got one. 
good and flexible. We got only melee combatants. Might as well move back to draw them into the uh, into our team. Sierke moves up. And let's get that honor guard. Super annoying. Poncho moves up. Come on. Barely didn't work out. I tell you what, we're reloading and going out of line of sight. Next turn. Next turn, we're going to intervene. Let's get that honor guard. I would have loved to uh, build up a kill zone. But I much uh, rather get the honor guard down. Go patch him up. Healing Poncho here. He has done a really good job, so no reason to let him go down. And quite frankly, if they were to focus uh, onto him, that would also help us. Because it means our other operatives are not being hit. Continue. Very good. Another Berserker Prime. Everybody is now converging onto Roby's position. I don't like that. Untouchable, by the way. Thank you, Faceless One. Roby moves over. That's it. Gets that thing down. And then gets the hell out of there. Turret moves over. Reload, and I think we're over watching. Full reload, and let's place a kill zone here. Poncho moves back. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And let the party begin. They will start to charge into us. Prime Berserker gets tagged. Unfortunately, we miss. There's a hit. Guardian triggers. And the guy goes down. 
turret is still standing. Look, we've proven that we could kill these guys, all of them, but unfortunately we can't do it before they kill the civilians. It's just not happening. All right, starting with the turret. Moving on to open ground. Taxia moves up. Everybody effectively moves up. Rekka uh, reloads. Turret reloads. Reload overwatch. Reload overwatch. And double move with Endors just to get a bit closer. Good, so the Berserker is getting hit. And finally taken down. Two out of 19. I knew in advance that it's likely going to be a loss, so if I, I tend to not go into those missions with a negative mindset, but what can you do if they are just triggering over and over and over? Yeah, There's only so much that you can do. Good, so on the negative, we did not make uh, an impact on that mission. On the positive, 111 kills into his career. Roby has finally managed to become a colonel. By the way, absolutely fantastic performance. Uh, the that uh, run, specifically how he how he went about that one flank by himself, that was so beautiful. Got untouchable there, great. Good, got another major. And we got Colonel, Colonel. The rest are majors, so very soon we're going to. Uh, to upgrade all of them to colonels. Superior hair trigger is what we needed. Unfortunately, not an Archon. Minus 136 supplies. Well, thank you. A couple of things, really. I think the hair trigger goes nicely into his weapon there we go advanced hair trigger into superior hair trigger and he gets the advanced hair trigger good a little bit of weapon upgrades here and there in terms of bonding you two should spend time because I needed to interrupt it for that mission. In terms of overall world map, we've just lost the integrated warfare PCS bonus. Contact costs 40. Let's do that. And there we go. Well, we lost that one mission, but it's not the end of the world. Let's continue making, uh, in, uh, creating intel. 
and hopefully soon we can get to the warlock. Our training for the Psy operatives, on the other hand, uh, seems to be going very well. So far, next. And he really got Null and says the next one. Can't believe it. This guy just got all of the three abilities. <laughs> Crazy if you think about it. All right, I'll do that quickly off camera. Not worth uh, to stress out about it. All right, then back. Not very uh, challenging. Specific. Specifically, if you do have two high-level characters. And there is our stronghold. We are definitely going to strike his stronghold right now to pay back for his invasion. And then there is another guerrilla ops, which we could do if we want to do that. Not sure if I really want to, but it gives a chance to counter another dark event. So, yeah, that is that. Uh, if you enjoy the Warlock, uh, tune in in two days. And in the meantime, try mind controlling that like button uh, and let it make it uh, a thumbs up. If you can do that, uh, you have already mastered your first step on the progression of PsyOps. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye, guys.